Game of Thrones fans love to joke about George R.R. R. Martin's ability to kill off characters. However, we are fans of a series that is even more ruthless at killing off characters with at least five character deaths per season. Still, we don't get used to all of the deaths, especially not of special ones like Brian Otis Zavanek. It has already been over a year since we lost Otis, but the trauma is so big that it still feels like yesterday. Brian Zavanek, played by actor Yuri Sardivov, has been an original cast member of the series since season one, and thus has always been a fan favorite for many. Zivanek's character had impeccable chemistry with other cast members in the series and always was the best source for some comedic relief. He got the name Otis because in his rookie days, he was mostly only given elevator duty and Otis was the common name of the elevator company. He finally found true love with Lily in season six and almost died that very season too. After bullets left in the fire he was working on, fired and hit his neck. Fortunately, Otis survived and we thought that it meant he would be with us longer. But season 8 opening shook fans over the world when he was hurt badly in a mattress factory fire. His team was able to pull him out and rush him to the hospital. But the burns were far too severe and Otis died surrounded by friends and family. With a heavy heart, fans watched as Otis dies in the hands of his best friend and fellow firefighter Joe Cruz. But not without uttering one line in Russian. Cruz was in such a bad state after the loss of his friend and did not have the courage to translate his best friend's last words. When he finally did decide to move on, we learned that Otis was trying to say, Brother, I will be with you always, making us cry all over again. So, Otis died, and Yuri Sardardov has also moved on from the series. Will he be returning? Well, if he does, we doubt it will be permanently. The dead characters only return in flashback scenes, and that is very much possible, but expecting any more would be naive. Yuri Sardarov, since he has also moved on in his career, all we know is that he did appear recently in a 2020 movie named Adam, alongside big names like Aaron Paul and Jeff Daniels. <laughs>